American icon. He's been sitting on this thing for 25 years. The car is- Get ready for a journey into the heart of one of the most popular car shows ever, Counting Cars. You've seen the amazing restorations, the cool crew, and the drama that unfolds in the garage. But have you ever wondered why this awesome show suddenly disappeared from our screens? Today, we're going to get into the real story behind the cancellation of Counting Cars. Each episode of Counting Cars was a thrilling ride, filled with challenges, laughs, and some incredible transformations. But then, out of nowhere, the show just stopped. What happened? Was it something the crew did? Or maybe the ratings weren't good enough? There are lots of rumors out there, but we're here to separate fact from fiction. Counting Cars started as more than just a TV show. It was a journey into the exciting world of car restoration. Born from the success of Pawn Stars, this show quickly made a name for itself. In the bright lights of Las Vegas, Counting Cars took us inside Count's Customs, the car shop owned by Danny Coker, affectionately known as The Count. The show wasn't just about fixing up cars. It was about the stories behind these cars, the people who owned them, and the magic of bringing them back to life. Viewers got to see classic cars being transformed, and they loved it. Each episode was a mix of fun, drama, and amazing car makeovers. Counting Cars became popular because it was real and exciting. It showed us the hard work that goes into restoring old cars and the joy of seeing them come back to life. Danny's passion for cars made the show special. People loved watching him work because he wasn't just fixing cars, he was keeping history alive. Every car had a story and Danny and his team were there to tell it. Counting cars quickly became a hit and it wasn't just because of the cool cars. Sure, watching an old forgotten car turn into a shiny awesome ride was a big part of it but there was more to the show that made people love it. It was about the team at Count's Customs and how they worked together. Danny Coker led his crew, not just as a boss, but as a friend. They joked, they argued, but most of all, they made some amazing cars together. Every episode was like a mini story. You'd see a car that looked like it was ready for the junkyard, but by the end, it was a beautiful running piece of art. People loved seeing these transformations. Danny Coker, the main guy on Counting Cars, wasn't just someone who knew a lot about cars, he was much more than that. Danny's love for cars started really early. As a kid, he was always around cars, learning from his family. This wasn't just a hobby for Danny, it was his whole world. On the show, Danny was the big boss of Count's Customs. He knew almost everything there was to know about cars. He could look at a car that seemed totally broken and see a hidden gem. But what made Danny really stand out was his way of being. He was fun serious about his work and really cared about his team. This made people really like him and the show. But Danny's interests weren't limited to just cars. He was also really into music. He played in a band and this love for music often showed up on the show. This mix of cars and music gave Counting Cars a special feel. Danny Coker was more than a car expert. He was an all around entertainer. That's what made him and Counting Cars so unique and loved by so many people. Before Counting Cars came to an unexpected stop, there was a lot of talk and guesswork about where the show was headed. Fans and viewers were buzzing with theories. Some thought the show might be running out of steam, wondering if they were seeing the last of Danny and his crew's car adventures. Others guessed that maybe the team was ready to move on to new projects. A big question on everyone's mind was about the ratings. Were they dropping? Did people still enjoy watching these car makeovers? This was a common worry among the fans. They loved the show and didn't want to see it end. There were also whispers about possible changes behind the scenes. Maybe there were new ideas or directions the show could take, or perhaps there were challenges the team was facing that we didn't know about. Then came the moment that fans had been fearing the announcement of counting cars being canceled. It was like a sudden brake slam on a high speed highway. The news hit fans hard and it was a big deal in the car-loving community. The announcement wasn't just a small whisper. It was like a loud engine roar. It came from official sources, and there was no denying it. Counting cars was coming to an end, and the road ahead looked uncertain. Fans reacted in different ways. Some were shocked, unable to believe that their favorite show was reaching the finish line. Others were sad, knowing they wouldn't get to see Danny and his crew bring cars back to life on TV anymore. The show had become a part of their routine, and now it was gone. The news also rippled through the car community. Forums and social media were buzzing with discussions. People were sharing their memories of the show, their favorite moments, and the cars they had fallen in love with. 
It was a moment of reflection, a tribute to a show that had made a significant impact. So, why did counting cars hit the brakes and come to a sudden stop? That's the question fans and viewers were asking when they heard about the cancellation. There were a few potential reasons behind this unexpected turn. One factor that often comes up in these situations is ratings. TV shows rely on viewers tuning in week after week. If the numbers start to drop, it can make the people in charge think twice. While Counting Cars had a dedicated fan base, there might have been changes in viewership that influenced the decision. Production costs are another piece of the puzzle. Making a show like Counting Cars involves a lot of expenses, from salaries to all the equipment needed for car restorations. If the costs were rising, it could have put pressure on the show's budget. Creative differences can also play a role in a show's fate. Sometimes the people behind the scenes have different ideas about where the show should go, which can lead to disagreements. These disagreements can make it hard to keep the show running smoothly. The History Channel, which aired Counting Cars, might have had its own reasons for the cancellation. Networks make decisions based on a variety of factors, including how a show fits into their overall programming and whether it's still meeting their goals. While Counting Cars did experience some controversies, drama within the cast, and even negative online reviews regarding the shop's real-world performance, these factors were not the primary reasons for its cancellation. Instead, it was primarily the result of changing viewer trends and the network's decision-making. After the final episode of Counting Cars, fans wondered what Danny Coker was up to. Well, he didn't vanish into thin air. In fact, he continued doing what he loved most, working with cars. Danny remained active in the car restoration scene, proving that his passion for automobiles wasn't just for the show. He could often be found at Count's Customs, where the garage doors stayed open. But that's not all. Remember his love for music? That didn't fade away either. Danny's band kept playing, and he enjoyed performing for fans who shared his musical interests. He also made public appearances, connecting with fans at car shows and events. Counting Cars wasn't just a TV show, it became a part of car culture. It showed that car restoration wasn't just about nuts and bolts, it was about stories and memories. The show had a lasting impact on fans, many of whom started looking at old cars with a new appreciation. Thank you for joining us on this trip down memory lane. If you've got your own thoughts on counting cars or Danny Coker, we'd love to hear them in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep up with our updates. See you soon.